human ability to be creative and traditional at the same time is unprecedented compared to other species. Uh, that means that we are able to store and transmit huge uh, chunks of information from generation to generation, both orally and uh, in written form. Uh, however, uh, when we work with uh, everyday human speech, we always face the same problem. It is very difficult to work with huge uh, amounts of data and it's very difficult to process them and to analyze them. The reason why my project of a career focuses exactly on oral traditions is because uh, uh, any oral tradition of any culture represents uh, a sample or a natural lab for such uh, research linked to creativity and uh, traditionality in human language. In other words, uh, any oral tradition has a very limited uh, vocabulary, uh, which is known as poetic language. It's also got a lot of uh, other limitations, such as uh, rhyme, rhythm, uh, sometimes music, uh, sequence of performance and so on which makes uh, oral tradition uh, easy to work with. My research of a career seeks to uh, contribute to uh, creating a new emerging field uh, called oral uh, cognitive poetics, which is uh, attempting to combine knowledge uh, both from uh, the field of oral poetics and cognitive linguistics which, or cognitive science, which usually exist on the opposite sides of uh, science. Of a career is not only about using the uh, oral traditions as a, a material for research, it's also about the important of, uh, importance of uh, preserving uh, oral traditions as a part of our legacy and uh, it makes the statement that makes us that oral traditions are what makes us human beings.